Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is another tour of a brand new home right here. Uh, this is something cool. I know if y'all been following the channel, y'all been seeing some of these that I've been doing. This one right here is, is another one that's just really cool. So I am at Hilltop Structures. This is in Cumberland uh, Furnace, Tennessee, a little west of Nashville is where I'm at. So if you're over this direction, and you enjoy these types of homes, you need to check them out. I wanna walk right here and show you a door that we have right here, and then we have a door on our porch as well, and then we're gonna head on in. So I've done a few different of their models here, but this one's kinda of got a little bit of a modern look to it. Uh, so I wanted to get it while I was here and show it to y'all as well. I like the siding that you're gonna see. Uh, I wanna show you the backside. We have these nice windows up top. We have a metal roof on this one. And then also y'all keep in mind, I'm gonna be adding this home to my tiny house playlist. So if you enjoy these types of sized homes, you wanna check out our playlist. You can check that out. And all I ever ask is if you will, drop us a like on this video. That would help us a lot. Now we're gonna head on to the front porch. So like every home that I've toured here has a porch on. This may be the smallest porch, but this is a little, this is probably the smallest one that I've done as well. So if you're looking something for a little bit bigger, like look at that house right down there. I've toured that one. It's gonna be on the channel. I'll let you know if it's up there already. But yeah, really big porch all the way across the home. We've got some, another nice light fixture over the top of it. Now it's showtime. Let's head on in. So when I seen this one, I was like, I've got to get this one for y'all because it's got a little bit of a different look as far as like, well, it's got white cabinets. A lot of the other ones had uh, darker cabinets. Uh, that's one of the things. And then just a few other little things that I thought I should show y'all while I was all the way in this direction. Also, let me mention, if you want some more information at the time of recording, I may not be able to talk about everything, but I'll try to put as much as I can in the description below. So check that out if you're looking for more information. If you're looking for a little bit more information. I love that ceiling fan. There's the door on the side that we looked at. Got windows lined up down through there. A couple windows across your front. And then over here, look at these cabinets. One with a little tin in those there. I like that you have you a nice window right here over your sink, which by the way, is great looking. Drawers, well, got paperwork, so we're not gonna open it. Soft clothes, drawers, and cabinets. Everything in this house is just soft clothes. Now look at our countertops. Very, very nice looking. So we're probably going to speed through this tour because it is only a one bed, one bath. I know <laughs> I toured a, uh, about a 4,000 square foot house the other day and I could do, it was all I could do to get that thing under 25 minutes. So I know there's a lot of variety on the channel, but that's my goal, you guys, to show you a little bit of everything. Here would be your stackable appliances, uh, your washer and your dryer right here. Plenty of, plenty of space for just your standard size washer and dryer for that. Now let's look in our bathroom first. Okay. I did a little bit different with the wood in here. You notice there's not a mirror in here, probably gonna be like cut glass or something that they would do once this home is set up because you know, you transport these things, you're running the risk of the mirror falling down, breaking that sort of thing. But we got vaulted ceilings, I wanna mention that. Pocket door. Ooh, I like that light fixture. Make sure I show you that. What about that? 
And this is a little bit different uh, shower that I've seen in some of them, like, as far as like the handles and everything that you see in here. Okay, so we got one thing left to do. Let's check out this bedroom. The, the log cabin out in the mountains vibe just continues on in here. Don't worry. Don't worry, we thought it was gonna change. Look at that white tail. They got, mm. I'm telling you, if I got any of y'all watching that love to hunt or anything like that, Y'all have got to share this video with some of your friends. Let them check this thing out. I, I mean, I got a lot of buddies that hunt me. I like to go to the lake and stuff, so I'm kind of thinking this something like this more is like a be a cool lake house. But I've told y'all that in the past. But I have been to deer camp many times in my life, and uh, this would be this would be sweet to come back to after being out in the woods all day. Number one, because it's got heat. <laughs> we got two closets. This closet has your uh, hot water heater in it, but you got room for a little bit of, you know, closet space for whatever you need to put in there. Wow. So I know it's been a really short tour, but if you want to see more homes like this, check out our tiny house playlist. Uh, I will say, if you had not subscribed, be sure to do that. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And share this video if you will, if you have not. I know I just mentioned that, but please do that. And uh, like this video, built-in microwave. I didn't even really talk about that. If you'll give us a like on this video, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Well, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and get into this outro right here. Talk about more information, give you a little bit of pricing on this particular uh, tiny house, shed house conversion, park model, modular park model, modular cabin park model, tiny. <laughs> so many things this house could be called. Like I haven't come up with a title or anything when I'm shooting this outro, but I gotta come up with something catchy. I don't know. Y'all let me know if I did a good job. Hey, I wanted to say though, I know I said it earlier in the tour, but I want to say, if you enjoy these types of, t of homes, one I did just the other day is performing very well. So that means, that just tells me that a lot of you like them. You need to check out our tiny house playlist. Anything smaller like this, I'll have in that playlist. I actually wanted to show you just a few shots of some that are going to be coming up right now. Of some that I've done, and not just here. I've done several in Texas uh, some other places as well. So you want to check out that playlist. And I also want to give you just a quick shot of, I know I showed you, before we walked in, I showed you, uh, the, the, the big one down there. And I, in case you had not seen that, that, that tour, I want to show you just a quick little shot of the inside of that one. Look at this. Oh. If you hadn't watched that video, you need to go back. It's I think it's maybe been a maybe close to a month ago since I posted it. You'll recognize the thumbnail though. As always, I'm gonna have more information on this home in the description below. You'll be able to find uh, some size on trying some square footage and everything like on the on this one. I think it's somewhere around 500 square foot with the porch. Also, we have our website link. Now I've got us uh, in some of the other ones that I did here. Now these homes are only manufactured in this area, so if you're in if you're not around this area, then you wouldn't potentially be able to get this exact home, but there may be uh, manufacturers in your area as well. I highly recommend just doing some Google searches, but I wanna put up my website link in the description. That way, if you are close to this area and you want uh, Hilltop Structures to get in contact with, you can basically use our website link in the description below. I also wanted to pop up just a little bit of their website if you wanna go there and find out more information, because I just kinda feel like some of y'all you may be in a, you may be on the other side of the country, but you're like, man, I think I could probably maybe build something like this to a degree, and I would just like to have more ideas on specs and stuff like that. That's why you may want to check out their website for that. Oh my goodness, I did the whole outro. I forgot to even talk about the price. So I'm gonna pop my camera up real quick and just say this pricing that I'm gonna give you is just what's provided to me, okay, from Hilltop Structures. And keep in mind, this pricing 
is for at the time of recording. Over time, uh, pricing stuff may have changed. It depends on options, stuff like that. But right here up above us, that'll give you a really great idea on pricing. I don't know why, but the video that came out Thursday night didn't seem to perform as great as I thought it would. It's such a beautiful home that I had, I just knew, uh, I mean, it's like weird. It's everybody that has watched it, loves it. It's just maybe not getting the clicks. I don't know, I could tell you. But if you have not seen that tour, you need to go back. It's the one before this one. It is a crazy two-story. Uh, man, you gotta check that one out. If you hadn't seen it, do it for me. And I don't know though, maybe you're watching this tour, maybe you're in the tiny stuff, so check out the tiny place. Either way, I'm just trying to get you to watch another video. The videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I'll let you do that or spend time with your family, whatever you need to do there. Hope every one of you have a blessed weekend. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. God bless you all. He sure has been good to me and my family this week, and I hope the same to you all as well. Uh, I'll see you Tuesday night. That's when the next video is coming out, 645 Central. Till then, y'all have a great one. See ya.